Hong Kong's West Kowloon Cultural District is seen as among the most ambitious cultural programs in the world and one of the Asia-Pacific region's largest single cultural developments, where Belt and Road countries can contribute and benefit. The work that, um, that we've been doing over the last 10-15 years has been focused on us becoming a regional hub. By adding the Belt and Road Initiative on top of that, it extends the reach, it extends the potential impact of what we do, both in terms of what we can do in Hong Kong, but also the impact of what we're doing in Hong Kong around the region and beyond. It will give us the opportunity to work in China, but also Malaysia, Indonesia, and further afield, Poland, Hungary. The district's first permanent building, M Plus, has been conceived as more than a museum, as a global center for visual culture. A voice that reflects Hong Kong's cosmopolitan history, location, now and into the future. A place where information, ideas have traveled in and out. The vision is so clear already, this idea of the museum being more than just a building, but a vessel, something that carries many things, that is also a tool used to talk about who we are in the world today. Illustrating that is the temporary Canton Express exhibition at the M Plus Pavilion, underlining the future role of M Plus as a contemporary museum. So a set of works that was shown in 2003 in Venice Biennale at the Arsenale. It was looking at the making from the Pearl River Delta region and how artists were responding to very rapid urbanization and modernization was also introducing to the international audience a different point of view in terms of contemporary Chinese art. It's wonderful young artists grow to be important international artists today. Performing arts in the district are set to be equally ambitious, both in audience and artistic development, ahead of the permanent center due to open in 2018 and with Belt and Road connections in mind. In the last six years, we have been arranging a lot of, say, artist-oriented activity to do a lot of cultural exchange, arranging artists to meet artists in the region and internationally to prepare our good artists for the future. The initiative opened a lot of new doors and new window for us to explore further into some area and some country we have not touched in the past. So Hong Kong with its very strong and solid foundation of being an international hub will benefit a lot from the Belt and Road Initiative. With the expectation of creating well over 20,000 new jobs locally, including for small and medium-sized companies, the new cultural district is all about building, but also about developing Hong Kong's emerging cultural role. I think the most interesting thing will be where different art forms come up against each other. That clash that can generate something new and creative and original. Any arts and culture district worth its weight in gold has to be able to develop beyond just what is already there. It's got to be challenging ourselves and challenging the community to do better.